Hey, niggas ain't gotta respect. Niggas just got ain't self. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. How you Williams lil' ex? If you don't say it direct, give a fuck. Yeah. Boston. Yeah. Boston. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got hoes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, thought my raps were the facts, and they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big stacks coming out to save. I got Lil Max with me, he the wave. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the grave. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in their place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap with this nigga on my face. Lil CC, let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money, I don't gave. I was on top when that shit meant a lot. Still on top. I'm scared of the drop. Still on top, and these niggas wanna swap. Niggas wanna swap like a sauce in a box. I don't wanna change. This is Bay Play. This is mine. I just made me a little chicken. <clears throat> My grill, and I'm gonna put syrup on it. Breakfast up vlog. So, as I just saw, um, we ate breakfast. I cooked breakfast. And but we just came in. We ate breakfast like a couple hours ago. It's a couple hours later. But we just came in from taking a little walk. I very much needed, very much hydrated and everything. So I'm out of breath. But the agenda for today is um my baby wanted me to make some dirty rice. So I don't know what we're gonna eat with it, but that's what he want for dinner. Some dirty rice. And I never made dirty rice before, so that's gonna be interesting and fun to make. And um, I don't know. I might make fried chicken with it or something. I'm not sure. But I'm excited to try it. And yeah, so I just wanna say what's up to the vlog. And happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great day, morning, whatever time you're seeing this. <laughs> and um, yeah. So I will check with y'all the next time we're doing something. Hi, Jerry. How long have you been with us? Hello, Jerry. Bring years. Years. Oh, now it's we got a serial cheater. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. So y'all, can we just talk about how when you get in a relationship, you start losing friends? Or is it just me? Because I've had friends, you know, while they're in a relationship and I'm the single friend, I'm very, you know, supportive, third willing like a motherfucker, but at the same time, I'm happy as fuck to be there because bitch, you my bitch and you happy you in a relationship like it's giving all the feels, but the minute I get in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? The energy is not there, you know? It's giving very much hater vibes. It's giving very much, I don't want to hear about this shit. Like, where's the same energy? People texting me, y'all, my bad, if I keep looking to the side. Um, yeah, like, why nobody talk about that? Because it's very much a real thing. I don't know if it's um, just my life or do other people experience this? Because I had a friend one time, you know, when she was in a relationship, I was third willing like a motherfucker, but at the same time, I was happy to be there. Like, never gave hater vibes. You know what I'm saying? I get along with y'all. I get along with your boyfriend. Like, it's cool. It's all straight. The vibes is there. But when I get in a relationship, oh, it's a problem. Or you don't want to hear about, you know, when I'm talking about him. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. And, you know, you're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my best bitch. But it's not giving best friend. It's giving, I'm not really happy for you since I'm single now. And I'm not happy, like, with my relationship status. But it's just like, why are you bitches like that? Like, some bitches, not all of y'all. Because, you know, some of y'all be, you know, not haters. Y'all be happy for y'all friend. 
on a real tip, you know, but some of y'all just be, it's the fake love for me. I had one friend tell me, like, before I got my own apartment, on my own, not a cosign, no mama cosigning my shit, you know what I'm saying, stack my money up and got my apartment all on my own, period. But before I got my own apartment, um, I had this friend, and we was talking about getting an apartment together, moving out of our parents' place and getting an apartment together. And... Um, when I was like, you know, I'm coming over here, you know what I'm saying? Of course, why not? He's my boyfriend. Of course, he's going to be coming over. And, um, this girl going to tell me, if he going to be coming over, I don't want to get an apartment with you. And that right there was, I mean, it wasn't the first time that I realized that she was a hater, but it was just one of the many other times that I just realized, like, yeah, you got me fucked up. Because... You crazy as hell if you think I'm going to be paying to live somewhere and my man ain't finna be coming over and I pay bills in this bitch. Hell nah. That was just weird to me because like how you supposed to be my best friend but you talking about if my man come over it's going to be a problem but if your man comes over when that's really the one who needs a fucking restraining order on his ass but if he comes over it's all fine and dandy. That's weird. I was just like, first of all, I don't need you to get <laughs> my own apartment. That's for one. You know, that's just something that we planned to do. We was young and, you know, we wanted to move out our parents' house. So we was like, okay, let's get an apartment together. That's one. You know, that's just something that we wanted to do. But it's like, after she said that, it's just like, bitch, I don't need you to get an apartment for one. And anywhere that I lay my head, if, my, if, I, if I want my man to come over, then he's coming. Period. But yeah, I'm just like, girl, that's crazy as hell. Cause he ain't did nothing. He ain't did nothing for you to feel that way. You don't want to move in with me if my man gonna be coming over. That's crazy. What? It's some other shit that's been going on that just made me realize, like, bitches really be hating. Like, when you get in that relationship and you happy and you know your friends or whatever, they still single and they looking. And they're not happy or whatever. They really be mad. Like, they don't want to hear about your good news with your boyfriend. They don't want to hear about, you know, you being happy. Like, if your friend's single and she's not in a relationship, not all y'all friends, but, like, if your friend a hater, she's not trying to hear this shit. She don't want to hear about you and your boyfriend being happy. She don't want to be around y'all being a third wheel. She's showing very much signs of, like, I don't want to be here. I'm not happy. Like... I've dealt with it a lot. Friends not being happy for me and, you know, my man. But at the end of the day, it's whatever. Because it's just like, it's just showing me your true colors. And easier for me to uh, snip that cord right there. I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick and see if I'm the only one. Like, let me know in the comments. Am I the only one or does this happen a lot? Y'all friends being haters once y'all get in a relationship. I feel like a relationship really show you who your friends is. Because you're going to have the friends that's happy for you. And then you're going to have the friends that's fake happy. Or the ones who just very obviously show that they're hating. You know what I'm saying? And for no reason. You and your man ain't never been through nothing. Or if y'all have been through something. And you know y'all good now or whatever. Like. Because you got some friends who, if you and your man been through something, then you tell your friend about it, then they'll never like to do it again. But then you got the friends who never like your dude from the very beginning. Maybe that's because they want your man. Don't sleep on that too. Because a lot of friends, a lot of friends be wanting their friend, man. So to hide it, they're going to act like they don't like him. When really they wish... It was them instead of you. You gotta watch out for that too. Cause a lot of niggas, a lot of bitches be one their friend man, but be trying to act like, oh, I don't like him. But for what, bitch? But for what? He didn't do anything. You know? That was my TED talk. I just I just thought about that today. Because it goes on a lot and bitches don't be talking about it. But I wanted to speak on it because y'all hoes ain't low. Y'all not low. Okay? I see straight through the bullshit. Straight through it, hope. Straight through it, hope. Give me a kiss, babe. Mm. On a man, hope. I just want to do my tits, hope. As you know, I didn't want to hurt him. But he said, farm was how we protect our family. 
a legacy. Yeah, I want to start ready for Keep Louis to die. I'm sick of this bitch. I'm sick of her ass. <laughs> they should have brain her like a cow, babe. I hope they, they do. get cow to Mm-hmm. So what did? So they got a crowbar. I'm ready for this bitch to die. I'm so sick of her. Brandon. You don't cross the motherfucker who put you Every on, bitch. Child. So, y'all, <laughs> here he go trying to hide. He up in the shower. <laughs> oh, shit. So, now, you guys, I know y'all were expecting me to make some dirty rice, but... We don't even have all the ingredients to make dirty rice, okay? So I'm just gonna make my boyfriend some hamburgers. That's what he said he wanted. I am about to order myself some seafood. How many hamburgers you want, babe? So I'm about to make him hamburgers. And I'm gonna order myself some seafood because, <laughs> yeah, no. I ain't had seafood all week. Your girl is. <laughs> Your girl fainting. Okay, for some seafood. So I'm about to make him these hamburgers and I'm gonna eat myself some seafood. And that's just what it's gonna be. Period. That is good, y'all, but seafood is calling my name. Very nice. You guys do it right now. I don't even know you about that. We bring you to my hotel. Y'all can call me fat if y'all want to. But I made my boyfriend two hamburgers. Where are you saying that? That shit was just too good. And I made myself one. What's up with you giving me setup vibes? Setup vibes? You tweaking. I'm just trying to get to know you. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's your name? So, you guys, I just got out the shower. Oh, feeling good and refreshed. I got my food. This Sunday was very much so realistic of how, you know, my Sundays be, you know, when I don't feel like cooking for real, then we'll just order takeout. Simple as that. Like, I ended up cooking baby some hamburgers. That's what he wanted. And I'm on the seafood. You know, I got to get my weekly dose of my seafood for real because I'm going to smash this like it ain't no tomorrow. Do you hear me, baby? Mm. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday reset. My apartment not really dirty, honestly. For me to be cleaning up, like, I know some people be like, you know, I'm going to clean up on Sundays, but I do a good job of keeping my place clean, you know, throughout the week. If anything, it just probably needs to be straightened up. But as far as, like, a deep cleaning... I do good for the most part. So like the cleaning part is where I have trouble, but I do good in my apartment for the most part of keeping it clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hey girly, make sure you like the video, comment, let me know what you want to see next and subscribe to the channel. And if you're not new here, like the video, comment, and also let me know what you want to see next. And I will catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye. Before I go, I wanna let you guys see my seafood real quick, hold on. So I got shrimp with the head off, shrimp with the head on, and I got mussels, corn, potatoes, and eggs. So that's what I got. But yeah, you guys, I've been sitting on this couch all day, but no. That's mainly how Sundays well, are for me, you know, be chilling. I'm not really doing nothing unless I'm cooking. Then, you know, I, I cook up a meal. Y'all know that. So, I'm finna smash this food. I'm finna chill. I'm finna eat. I'm finna watch Go Do Pranks and whatever else. And like I said earlier, I will check in with you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. So, bye.